G'day guys, Daryl again. Just going to go through the macerator for you. So the macerator pump, the macerator cleaning out the toilet system, everything associated with the macerator that we need to worry about in our general maintenance cleaning side of things. So first things first, you'll notice here on the top, just laid out here the hose that comes um, to empty out your macerator tank, um, your grey water tank, those sort of things as well. And there's another little fitting here which I'll talk more about shortly, which is to do with the flushing cleaning side of things as well. So first things first, the actual outlet here on the front of the trailer located in this area, we have another macerator pump located underneath the checker plate here. We have a macerator in at the toilet, so when you press the button on the toilet, the macerator works, um, sends the waste down into the tank, and then when we go to empty the tank, we'll take it out through the macerator again and then pump it out to a dump point um, or into a hole in the ground, depending on where you are. So how this works, <coughs> excuse me, first things first is on the bottom here we'll take off the dust cover off the, um, the hose itself. So it's just come off this area. I won't pull this hose apart, it's customers ready to go. Um, but we'd separate the hose. That section of hose, there's one there, I would lock that onto here. Um, so that point of the hose then goes away to our dump point. So we'll send that out to wherever we pull up. We're not limited that we have to pull up one side each time to go to the dump point we can pull up either side of a dump point to drop our hose off to. Once that hose is connected, uh, then basically I'll lift this lever here upwards um, and that there is opening that line through to the tank ready for the pump to be turned on. We'll then open the hatch here and I will go to our switch here which is then turning our macerator pump on. So if I turn that on the pump will operate um, and then that is pumping out of the tank completely. Once all of that's completed, and you'll hear the difference with the, uh, the pump, you'll hear the macerators sort of get louder and that side of things. Now that the, the tank is empty, you need to give it a flush through, and generally where you dump it at a dump point, you'll have a tap there. So you'll have an additional hose that you'll need to require to get. Um, you will then bring that hose through, and we'll connect it onto here. So it's just a standard hose fitting. Um, we supply the other end of the fitting that we'll plug into here as well, so you can click your hose on, so it's a double-ended part of one of these. Hose onto there, we've still got that valve open, and we turn the tap on, and we've got some water flowing through that system. Generally, what's the best way to clean that is shut that off for a little bit, let it build up with some water in the tank, um, and then start pumping it out. So you've got the water still flowing through and pumping out at all, all at the same time, so that cleans it all out, uh, gives the tank a good flush through. Once you've done that, you see some clear water coming out your black hose, which is still at your dump point. Um, you might call it quits there and go, right, that's it. We can travel on, keep travelling on our way. We can do that. You can go away and empty it out another three or four times and not have to clean it. Um, it just depends on your usage. If you're going into storage, we're going to a little bit different uh, cleaning process. But basically, that's how to empty your black tank, your macerator tank, um, as some people call it. Uh, that is emptying it out, giving it a basic clean. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go through a cleaning process with this. As I said earlier, we do our flushing as we flush out our waste. Um, now if we were putting this into storage, potentially what we would do is we will then reverse flush. We will clean out our lines, we'll clean out our tank a little bit differently so that we can store it away and know it's all nice and clean. Most commonly what we'll do is we've done the flush through here with our hose. The other one is we'd take our hose off there. We can still have that open. And on the top here in the, near the jerry can, you'll see another hose fitting there. I've just taken the, the uh, dust cap out of the top of it there. We can put a hose through there and give that a slight trickle feed, not at full tap pressure, because that actual fitting there is feeding the charcoal filter that's there. That stops all your smell and the likes. Um, the hose that you can see down through there, where I'm just running my hand down when you might be able to pick up, that hose there is a visual hose, so that it's like a backup secondary um, point of looking at the actual tank to see how much is in the tank itself. So we're giving you a little bit of a clean back through there to actually take out um, any residue that's in there and keep that as a clean line. Don't have to do that all the time. Uh, you might do that every six or eight tanks or when it gets a little bit hazy in that hose, give that a bit of a clean through there. The other one that we can go to is up the side here. And where we're aiming for is on the side of the trailer here. 
Each of these are labelled, as you can see. This one here's got toilet flush there and grey flush. So we're talking this fitting here. Okay, so we've connected our hose onto there. And what this is doing is just flushing our line from this point back down to our macera uh, down to our black water tank. By doing that, you don't have to do it every time. You could do that every two, three, four tanks, whatever suits on that, depending on your usage again. But all we're doing is we're cleaning our line. This is more for our storage process. So we're cleaning at the front, we'll clean the lines down into the tank. Now we'll go to the tank area itself and talk about a couple of ways of cleaning on the tank. If we've cleaned out the, the line through, now we've emptied the tank out on that side, now we want to clean out in a reverse flush. So our reverse flush is where we're going to put it into storage mode. We want to clean everything spot on super clean. We will have done all of those steps that we've done so far there. Now what we'll utilise is this fitting. So we'll disconnect our black hose off here and we'll put this in replace of the black hose there. Okay, so I'll just sit that on there just so we get the general idea. Now what we'll do is we'll attach our water hose onto this fitting. So we're flushing back through the line that normally we're pumping out of. Now to make this operational, we put that on there before we turn the water on. We then come around to the side here. And this is now our gravity feed point. So it's the same system that's at the front, it's not running through the macerator. So again, we would take the dust cap off the outside, we would put our black hose onto there now, and we would pull the lever down um, to open up that valve. So what's going to happen there, without any pump or anything, that's just going to flow out on its own because it is a gravity feed system and it's off the bottom of the tank. Once I've got that open, I now turn the tap on to the front there, to the main hose piece, that little junction piece that I put on. We still don't turn the pump on, we're flushing back through the line at the front into the uh, black water tank and then we're going to flow out here. A lot of the times, a lot of our customers will do this where they'll empty this onto the garden. You've cleaned the bulk and everything out of your tank previously at your dump point. Now it's basically a clean system but you want to clean the last of it out. So we'll bring it back home, we might put it into a garden around a favourite tree or whatever and just let any residues that might come out. It's very minimal that you might get something out of there. That is cleaning the system not only in a normal operation but in a reverse to go into a storage mode. And then it's basically shut everything down. So we'd shut the valve down, we'd disconnect the tap and all that. Um, the best with this one is probably leave this one till last before you shut this down. Shut the other valve, turn your tap off and let this dry to us. Um, it's nice and dry, you don't see any residue still dripping out or anything like that. 